Oh, hello. So how are you feeling now, eh? Well, you probably realise I'm a clown! <laughs> well done, you! We're gonna go for a little drive! It's gonna be fun, fun, fun! <laughs> I've got so much to tell you about you, about me, and about the friends. They're all having a great laugh in the room at the moment. You're gonna go there later. <laughs> so anyway, how did I become a clown, you ask? Well, I was seven years old. Oh, bugger. <laughs> I've got to start this thing. I was at a circus with my mum and dad. It was great. There was trapeze artists, there was clowns, there was jugglers, there was fag, there was all these people laughing their tits off. I loved it. I, I love looking at all the smiling faces. I love to see people laugh. It gives me such a great feeling in the pit of my stomach. I thought you wanted to do it this is all mine. <laughs> You're the brains of the outfit, eh? Brainy, brainy man. I wanna be a brainy man. <laughs> brainy, brainy. Is this yours, Barney Charles? <laughs> no, I'm joking. That's your hair. <laughs> Going to the circus was amazing for me. I remember meeting this little girl. She was all dressed up as a clown. She gave me a nice little balloon. <laughs> it was lovely. We just laughed over nothing. I love the way it made me feel. <laughs> Everyone needs to laugh, you know. <laughs> oh, it's not good being sad all the time, is it? No. I remember when I went into the big tent, that's when I wanted to be a clown. All the kids were scared shitless of them. But I didn't. I wasn't scared of nothing. Not those clowns. They were beautiful. Ooh, yeah. Their makeup, the way they looked, they weren't scary, they were just. I like you. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
when they saw me laughing at an old lady falling over. They handed me a balloon and said, would you like it? And I said, no. But they said they'd give me a big surprise if I gave it to them. And I was like, oh, what's that then? But they said, shh, it's a secret. Now go and sit with your mum and dad <laughs> and they'll call you over when we're done. <laughs> oh, so I did. I was really excited. I'm like this chap. <laughs> Sorry, I sent you a letter, but I forgot. Snap it! Snap it! Snap it! <laughs> Ringmasters started the show. Lion tamers, tigers, and bears, and elephants. It was brilliant. A load of monkeys jumped on my mum, and she screamed. I laugh myself to death. Ha 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 And then, the next thing you know, a man dressed as a sausage came up to me. <laughs> and he said, he said, it's time for your big surprise. Ooh, lovely. So I went, okay. Mum and Dad took me to the ringmaster's tent. It was dark and mysterious inside the tent. And then suddenly, boom! Smoke and lights everywhere! The ringmaster was grinning. He sat me down. I was surrounded by clowns. I got made to sit down and cover my eyes. And all I could hear was clapping and laughing and clapping and laughing and clapping and laughing. I was so scared, I couldn't see my mum and dad. Daddy? <laughs> <laughs> and suddenly they stood me up in front of a mirror and told me to open my eyes. I was a clown! <laughs> they gave me candy floss and toffee apples all day and made me part of the circus. What do you think of that? gave me his balls and a honking horn. <laughs> I was so happy. I honked that horn as hard as I could. My parents had gone, but I didn't care. I was just happy honking his horn. <laughs> Woo, I kept getting it wrong, but it didn't matter as long as he was happy. In the end, I got it right, and he celebrated by spraying the silly string in my face. <laughs> We <laughs> eat we popcorn all day. Yum, yum, yum. I still couldn't see my mum and dad, but it's okay. The tall clown's headed. Look after me. <laughs> Hello? I'm afraid he's not here at the moment. Sorry, you got me back later. <laughs> Too. <laughs> oh, it was great. I always got it wrong though. Still got it wrong to this day. But it didn't matter. You know why? Because people still laughed. I was a funny bugger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, it's not nice when people are sad. Yeah, not depressed people and that. 
There's a special room for people like that. Yeah. Sad acts everywhere, you know. There was always one person in the crowd who would bring a down on everyone. And they got put in the special room. <laughs> people were sad and boring and hopeless. A bit like when I met you. People aren't allowed to be sad in the circus. That's really naughty. We take all the naughty people to the white to cheer them up, to end all their pain and suffering. Yeah, that's great, isn't it? Because it's great to cheer people up. It makes perfect sense, really. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Look at this place. Oh, and I'm lucky. Isn't it nice here, eh? I've got cupboards. Nice cupboards. I'll have a good cupboard, I do. <laughs> This one's very sexy, don't you think? <laughs> Why are people so sad and miserable? Doesn't make sense to me. You chose your stupid beliefs. You chose your stinky job. You chose your ugly wife. You chose your rubbish clothes. <laughs> You chose to be a stinky, sad, little bum face. And now, my friend, you have chosen...